Hello, comrades. Welcome back to Workers and the Resources, Soviet Republic. My name, of course, is Open Potato. That's right. Okay, Tourist Touristovsky, Touristovsky. My my favorite, my favorite little place in the middle of nowhere. I. Uh, it's coming along. It's coming along. It's coming along. Uh, you know, something fierce. So we're making some good progress on that. I tell you what, I do want to do straight off the bat, uh, in order to ensure that we are able to get some proper building done over the course of this episode, I'm actually going to fund the construction of a couple of gravel roads over here. I know, I know, it's a little, it's a little cheeky, but there you go. We're, uh, we should now be able to access, yeah, pretty much everything in this area. So, uh, so that's gonna, that's gonna go great, and hopefully that's gonna spur a whole bunch of activity from, uh, from these construction depots, and hopefully. We're able to get uh, we're able to get going, which is very very exciting indeed. Okay, so uh, thanks to everyone who left a comment uh, in the, uh, under the last video. Very very excited to say uh, a lot of people a lot of people said that tourism was quite broken at the moment, uh, quite quite broken and um, and made quite a lot of money. Well, that's good because that's exactly what I'm going for. I'm going for the whole making loads of money thing, but you know not exclusively that. We want to be we want to be doing a whole bunch of things. Uh, other than that as well. Okay, let's increase the maximum number of workers. Fine. Uh, let's also see, what is it that we need? Do we need anything? We don't really need anything. We don't really need anything. Everything's coming along quite nicely, in fact. So, so that's pretty great. Uh, yeah, everything's looking, everything is looking completely adequate. And I'm very, very happy that everything is looking as good as it is. Okay, so now that we've got all of that in play, what do we want to do over the course of this episode? I'll tell you, it's fairly, it's fairly gosh darn simple. It's getting the heating for Touristovsky and, uh, and actually the, the tourist area as well. We want to get that all set up. And anywhere that needs heating, which will be a lot of places come winter, uh, it needs to, needs to have, needs to have a heating, a heating capability set up and, and ready to rock and roll. Now, here's the thing. I kind of want to use my own coal. I don't want to import. I don't want to import any of this, this, this horrific western coal or or even coal from other soviet states no sorry not interested not even slightly uh, so for that reason let me have a little look let me have a little look what am i looking for a coal mine okay all right that is a disappointing location for a coal mine to go but sure i guess you know you know okay all right yeah fine i guess we'll just stick a coal mine <laughs> right at the end of this street here. It's literally the best place for it. Okay, I mean, that's brilliant. <laughs> that is absolutely brilliant. <laughs> Can you imagine? Can you imagine walking home and being like, oh, look, there, there's there's the coal mine. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, jeez, that is, that is... That is grim. That is very, very grim indeed. Okay, um, let's let's go for a, a small little shopping center over here. We'll go through the motions of just getting this place uh, ready and fit for fit for human life. There we go. Uh, yeah, over there. Cool. Okay, what do we need? We need a pub as well. I mean, nothing really crazy. You know, we just need we need to make sure that it's all. It's all habitable, right? That's, uh, you know, even desirable, perhaps, dare I suggest. You know, a little, a little desirable just to, just to make sure that people don't leave. Okay, so something like that, something like that. Boom, boom. We're gonna auto-build all of this. We're gonna auto-build all of this so, uh, so we can actually make some progress on the heating construction today, which I'm very, very much looking forward to. Uh, thank you very much to everyone who, who, uh who commented letting me know their thoughts on when I would take out my first bridging loan. Uh, or indeed, when when I'm going to start building my first bridge. There was uh, there was a lot of discussion with regards to, with regards to bridging loans. Uh, all that I can say, stay tuned. I'm sure it'll be a lot sooner than almost everyone anticipates. <laughs> that is what I'll say. That is what I'll say. Okay, let's get this built. Let's get this built. We'll just auto-import resources for now. We don't need to worry about... Uh, we don't need to worry about that uh too too much at this moment in time is that gonna is that gonna stretch everywhere in town i suspect that that probably will to be honest that's actually remarkably decent all right so that's looking pretty darn good uh in the meantime let's get a school uh what am i looking for edumacation there we go edumacation let's get a 
kindergarten right over here. And then a school right behind it. And then we will build... I was a way to say an artificial road. But I guess a road is a road as long as people think that it's a road. So crack that down. Get that all built. Boom. Boom. All right. Already probably spent more money over the course of this episode than uh, than I did in the entirety of the first one. Oh, yes. Power. Almost completely neglected to build power. Also, haven't built the coal mine yet, but we'll, we'll do that in just a second. Uh, do I have a little... Do I have a little branch over here? I might even want to... I might even want to get a, another transformer over here. The reason that I might want another transformer over here is that we are going to require quite a lot of high-powered... High-powered buildings. Yeah, I, I think that's probably the best thing for us to do. Yeah, not entirely convinced with myself over this, but yeah, we'll do it. We'll do it for now. I, I should just be auto building with rubles because I mean, let's be let's be honest. That's what we're doing. That's what we're doing at the moment. We are we are full tilt auto building to try and get our coal production up and running, so that we can hopefully, 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 get our heating up and running before winter. I mean, it looks like there's a great many months before before winter, but uh, in reality. I am uh, I am probably behind schedule in terms of getting all of this this uh, this coal processing and heating apparatus up and running in good time. So we need to bear in mind the new connection limit as well. We need to bear in mind the new connection limit. Wow, that is that is garish. That is garish. Cannot even look. Oh, I can't I can't see. I can't see where the connections are. Uh, sure. Okay, so that's three three. Three connection points. Is that overkill for a town of, like, 25 people? Exaggeration, obviously. It might be. Let's come around the side here. The reason that I want to give this area such a such a wide berth is because I know for a fact that we're going to need to get other infrastructure over here. So we've got the coal mine. We've got the coal mine just chilling. Just chilling here. I want to see exactly how much coal we're able to output. Uh, before really taking, before really taking the decision about how many coal processing plants we're gonna need to, what am I looking for? This is this is ridiculous. Yeah, we're gonna see how much coal we're able to output before we decide how many coal processing plants we want. I feel like maybe, unironically, I could end up with like four, maybe if the going is very good. I don't know, uh, but we will almost certainly get a large aggregate storage in here anyway. So, I guess we could build that right now, right? Sure, I guess we'll build that right now. This road probably won't stay here in in this current form. But, that's okay. All right, let's take this out of here. Let's take, uh, can't go over houses, of course, because that would be ridiculous. Cool, okay, that also seems like another change. Seems like we were able to connect up perpendicular to the uh, to the transformer there. It's the little things, but that's quite nice. That is quite nice. Too sharp of a turn. There we go. Easy. Proving that it is not too sharp of a turn. Right, so is this entire town powered? This entire town is powered. There's a little bit... Total wattage of all connected buildings, estimated maximum consumption. Okay, fine. And then this one over here as well. Fine. 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 Don't don't even worry about it. Don't even worry about it, video game. It's uh it's no big deal. Okay, so we should have loads of people. We should have loads of people working. What's the walking distance? Walking distance ain't as large as I would like it to be. I want everyone to work in the coal mines. Sorry if I didn't make that immediately clear, but I, I want absolutely everyone to, war, uh, to work in the coal mines. I, I don't want anyone to escape. So... Let's do something like this. Uh, yeah, okay, so demolish that over there, and... Uh, nice. Okay, so that's that's quite high walk speed. Walking, walking speed is, is now quite high. Which is very, very lovely. It goes over there and anywhere else that's going to need a, an advanced, an advanced speed route to the coal mine. 
That is, that's so grim to say, isn't it? Yes, that's right. We're building these paths so that our people can get to the coal mines quicker. That's right. That's right. It sounds crazy to say, but no, it's 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 really happening. Okay, a lot of uh, a lot of a lot of pathing there, but I think that that's I mean that's a good amount of the town, right? Like I don't think that we can really complain about that. The people that live on the fringes of town anyway. We probably don't even need to worry about actually no tell a complete lie that's a big house over there with 85 workers we would we would definitely we would definitely miss those we would definitely miss those workers if we didn't connect the path up specifically to, to get them <laughs> how crazy is that <laughs> that's ridiculous right we want everyone we want everyone in this gosh darn town Apart from these people, maybe these people can get a special job. I, I don't know. Maybe we'll we'll build the heating plant or something around here, and we can draw from this work uh, workforce over over in this vicinity. I don't know. We'll we'll have to wait and see. We'll just sort of roll with it. We'll just we'll just sort of go with it. Anyway, how much how much coal are we able to extract? Current production per workday sixty five eighty five tons. Uh, it depends on the number of workers that we're able to get into our coal mine, really. Depends on how many workers. So, what? We're like 110 at the moment. We're probably going to do more than that. But let's take 110 as a good number for now. Coal ore processing plant. Maximum production per workday. This is 120. So, this is going to do 120. So, we need to think in multiples of 120. And bear in mind, we only need like 15 employees in, uh, in this coal ore processing plant. So, we probably need to. We probably need to. We probably need between one and two. Right? We probably need... Actually, no. Tell a complete lie. It, it produces 120 tons of coal, but it consumes 210 ton tons of coal. So we're going to need like 1.5. We're going to need like 1.5. And I, honestly, I think that one at the moment is is probably all that we can really get away with. One is probably all that we can really get away with. Uh, let's ditch this road. We really don't need it. We really, really, really do not need it. We just need to make sure that it is as close to the town as we can reasonably get. Cool. Alright, 150,000 rubles. This is our biggest investment of anything uh, thus far. Is it going to be worth it? Sure as heck hope it will be. One of these for now. Second one can maybe go down there in the future. Uh, big old mistake there by not using the leftmost output on the large aggregate storage but at the end of the day i mean it's not going to make much of a difference is it it's not going to make much of a difference at all especially if this coal mine you know continues to produce around about 210 uh, 10 tons of coal ore per day if that is the case then that means that we'll be able to keep on producing uh with just one coal ore processing plant which is which is pretty darn great if i do say so myself that would be that would be not terrible Right, 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 right. Walking distance. I mean, there's plenty of houses within walking distance. There's plenty of houses, and we should have no issues getting, like, 15 employees. If we do, then we can always just, you know, we can order in a couple of additional house loads of people. It's entirely possible. We haven't spent any money on, on immigration yet, but we can do... We can do that. We can do that in the future. Okay. How's the construction? How's the construction at the university going? This is scary. I I don't like making this much progress this early. It's it's very very scary. Uh, part of the reason, by the way, that we are not making any progress is that we just don't have enough. We just don't have enough. Uh, well, some, not cement trucks. Uh, concrete trucks. That's right, concrete trucks. That's what we're after. How are things going over here? Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. We're making progress on slight bits of road. Yeah, you know, I, I should have perhaps done this in a slightly different order so that I don't end up messing everything up, but that's that's okay. I mean, it doesn't it doesn't particularly matter. Uh, concrete trucks. Let's get more concrete trucks. And you know what? Let's double down. Let's double down. I like this area. This is a nice area. I am I am very, very happy with it. Let's go into modded. Let's go into modded. Let's go into construction office, and let's go for the huge construction office, which may or may not break the game. But let's get it down. Let's get it down, and let's get a second one down as well. Let's get two of them. Let's let's freaking go. I mean, it costs like twenty thousand rubles. I'm gonna auto build these, and I'm just gonna I'm gonna splash some cash on some big old trucks. That's right, some big old trucks. Uh, cool. Set that up as a collection point. Set that up as a collection point. Set up that as a collection point. Set up that as a collection point. 
And I think that's it, to be honest. As long as we don't use this for worker transport, which I don't plan to do, we should be just fine. Okay. What do I need? I, I need concrete mixers. Eight concrete mixers straight off the bat. Eight concrete mixers are probably the most in-demand things at the moment. Also, we need to increase the range of, uh, of job finding so that it'll, it'll find its own jobs. I hope. At some point. Soon. No? Okay, I'll assign a construction. And there we go. Hopefully we should see all of these, all of these trucks mobilizing. Right. Uh, what else? What else? What else? What else? Dumper trucks? We'll get a couple of Maz dumper trucks. What is that? Five? Six, seven, eight. Excellent. Anything else, really, that we that we need at this moment in time? Maybe I went a little bit too ham. Maybe I went a little bit too ham. Oh, look, there we go. It seems to have found all of the... Seems to have found all of the right uh, the right jobs to, to go to. That's excellent. Okay, so we should be able to make some pretty significant progress with regards to... With regards to building. We're working on our concrete now, which is great. This walk is pretty tragic. The one from the bus stop to the concrete plant. Probably the workers deserve, uh, deserve a path. I mean, no, they don't deserve anything. But it would make my... It would make my efficiency greater if they got a path. So you know what? They're going to get a path for, for that reason. And not because they deserve it. Right, let's see exactly how many of these trucks are actually used. I'm going to fast forward just so that we can... Uh, just so that we can get a little bit of a better read on the situation. The problem with having a larger construction office means that it takes longer to get off the lot. And if only one vehicle can actually operate in the lot at a time... It does take uh, it does take a little bit of extra time. Uh, something that we should be considering is Maz trucks. Maz trucks with excavators on the back of them. Uh, yeah, a couple of bulldozers, four bulldozers, couple of open hull trucks, four of them, sure. Excavators as well. Four of those. Paver. Maybe two rollers, but that's only for asphalt roads. So I, I, I doubt we'll ever, I doubt we'll ever really need it to be honest. But, uh, but there you go. Is that it? Is that all that we really care about? Concrete mixers. Maybe we could get some additional concrete mixers, but, uh, but that's fine. Okay, so nothing is assigned as a source at the moment, and yet we'll still probably be able to utilize some of these trucks with regards to road construction, which is pretty exciting. There we go, just like that. We're we're seeing we're seeing a mobilization. Excellent. Cool. Very very cool indeed. Lovely, 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 lovely stuff. Okay, we spent a lot of money there. Okay, you know. So everyone, everyone who's saying, oh, there's no way that potato is going to burn through ten million rubles and to two million dollars, uh, you know, within the space of a couple of episodes. Just just you freaking wait. The, the temptation to take out a bridging loan is very, very high. I really like the way that this video game uh, actually handles loans. Like, it, it is... It's really good. It's 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 really good. Like, it, it really is... It really is quite incredible. Uh, and the rate of interest and the, the cumulative rate of interest as well. I, I just like. I, I just really, really like. Anyway. Uh, there we go. There we go. Okay, we are processing coal. Let's go into a large aggregate storage. Again, I don't really know how permanent I feel this this operation is going to be. Probably not altogether that permanent. There we go. Let's get that built. Uh, the reason that I don't feel that it's permanent is that I feel like I would I would plan a little bit better if it was going to be a little bit more permanent. But then again, I've built terrible structures before and, uh, and they've been more permanent than other structures that I've built. So I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Okay, see if we can start making a little bit of a dent in this pile of coal. I still think one singular coal processing plant is probably what we're after. So that's uh, so that's pretty darn great. But as I say, we can always we can always get a second. Okay, so heating infrastructure. Again, this is completely this is completely new to me. A small heating plant, a heating plant, a small heat exchanger, a heat exchanger. So we really have it's either a small heating plant or a or a big heating plant. It's a, 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 I think maybe a big, a big heating plant, right? I think a big heating plant is, is what we're after. If this is going to be powering, if this is going to be powering 
the vast majority of the area, then I guess it kind of makes sense. It does seem a little bit strange that it's all the way over here. Uh, I want to stick it out here, but I, I, I really... I feel like uh, I want people to be able to walk to work. That's the sort of employer I am. A good one. No, that's, that's a complete lie. I, I don't have any regard for my employees' safety. Okay, let's build it over there. Again, not completely convinced on that location. But again, you know, we'll... We'll deal with that later. Uh, okay, so that goes down there. Is there a path? Is there an input? There is totally an input over there. I'm pretty sure that I that I saw that and therefore planned that. If you believe that, you'll believe anything. So, everyone should have a heat connection. Lol, no. Uh, some people won't, but just the important places will. Uh, so there we go. That's what we're gonna do. And now, uh, and now we just need to get the rest of the heat infrastructure set up. So heating, we got the the big, we got the big heating pipe. We got the big heating pipe. I wanted, I want to see how much heat this is gonna be able to output. Like, is this gonna be able to deal with? Is this going to be able to deal with the entirety of the area? Uh, we get a small heat exchanger over here, right? Get a small heat exchanger over there. And I think that we get a big heating pipe. I think that we get a big heating pipe. I think that's the... I think that's the play. What does it actually cost to build... To build, uh, to build heating pipe? It's steel and mechanical components. So it's, it's irritatingly expensive. It's very, very irritatingly expensive. Okay. Current production percentage. Very high. Very, very high. Presumably then, presumably then the temperature should be fairly high across the board. That is very high. That is worryingly high. Am I going to need to build a much more comprehensive heating... Uh, a much more comprehensive heating structure than I perhaps anticipated. I wonder, I wonder if I will. I wonder if I will have to do that. I mean, it looks good, though. It looks, it looks good. It looks like it's producing a lot of heat. I just don't know, I just don't know how much heat the town is going to sap. That's the thing. I mean, I know it takes 700 liters, and we've got the, the ability to pipe, to pipe this out. Let's, yeah, let's not auto-build this, but let's, let's head around. Building is in the way. I presume that there is a max length to these pipes. Yeah, there's a max length to these pipes, but, uh, but it's actually a lot more generous than, than pumping oil, which is, which is lovely. So we get a heat pumping station, which seems like a, a bit of an anomaly. But there we go. And we will build that. We will build that. We build that. And then we'll just continue to go. Uh, and I guess we kind of just want to go to... We want to go to Turistovsky at the moment. Okay, so it could be about that long. Alright, this could be... This could be a disaster. <laughs> this could be a disaster. This could be a disaster. Uh, just a heat pumping station? Yep. This could be a terrible disaster. Alternatively, it might be it might be brilliant. If anyone has like a rule of thumb, if anyone has like a like a rule of thumb about how we heat wa uh, heat water tank, hot water tank. Okay, let's. I can't see. I can't see Jack. I can't see what's going on. It's a big old problem. It's actually horrific. Uh, there. If anyone has like a rule of thumb. For how to handle heat, then that would be then that would be great. Okay, I need to look at where I'm gonna place my tank first. What about in here? Ugh. There we go. Okay, that's a pretty good place. That's a, that's a pretty good place. All right. So we build that. Sorry to the person whose garden I, I built that in. It wasn't my intention to. Uh, was my intention to be rude? Uh, I just don't care about you or your family. You're all just numbers to me. Building is in the way, but there is a there is oh, there we go. Okay, that's actually that actually looks pretty good. 
There we go. 200, 200,000 rubles. Right in the bin. Uh, <laughs> for, for seemingly nothing. Let's build a dirt road over here. Just because I need to remember where the heck this heat exchanger is along the way. Same with that over there. Cool. Alright. Uh, the small heat exchanger over here. The small heat exchanger over here. Maybe we want to supply with... With power. Okay. Current production percentage is, is very, very low. Presumably because everywhere in town has been supplied. Yeah, with the hottest of the hot water. So, I'm gonna hope... I'm gonna hope that we're gonna be able to supply the entirety of, of tourist grads. And also... Uh, and also hotness grad. Uh, that's a small heat exchanger, which means that we need to get a... Uh, we should probably just use a large heat exchanger so that we, we we use the same type of pipe because we are only able to I didn't see that but it's a small it's a small pipe there and the heat pumping station in fact what am I doing cancel all plans and then just go small from here from here out cool all right so that's pretty reasonable we heat that up wonderful small heat exchanger total capacity of all connected buildings 76 percent. Estimated maximum drain is at 50%. Okay, I wish that I had that stat for the for the heating plants. Uh, unfortunately, I don't. I guess we'll have a little look here. What is this? Total capacity of all connected buildings. Excellent. Okay, so that's really, really good. Is um, is 63. 60, 63%. Estimated maximum drain is 63%. So that means, that means that we are in, that we're able to supply this entire, this entire town with this one disregard the fact that we don't have the power to the pumping station yet. I'll sort that in just a second. Uh, we're able to supply it with just that one pipe. That's that's real good. That's real good. Uh, again, kind of justifying the, 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 the need to build this extra transformer, uh, which, I, which I did so build at the start of the episode. We'll just use a wooden cable over there and we'll build that up there. Okay, so I've spent a good couple of million rubles. But that's okay. Wattage is up through the roof. That's looking pretty good. The heat should hopefully increase. I wonder if there is a maximum length. And I wonder if the heat does drop off over time. Again, this is all completely new to me. But again, we'll probably manage. We'll probably manage to figure it out. It's looking good though. It's looking good. It's looking it's looking good. What's the temperature of houses? And the heat exchange in uh, in Turistovsky. It's it's getting there. It's it's increasing ever so slightly. I presume that I presume that given time. Look, there we go. We just saw that needle jump up a little bit. Not everyone is going to be going cold this winter. Not everyone is going to be cold. Just just most people. <laughs> just most people. <laughs> oh boy, it sounds horrible to say, but I mean, it's happening. It's very much happening. This operation is looking very, very good. Very, very happy with that. So that's going nicely. We got heat up and running. I'm surprised. I am surprised. I am very, very surprised. Look at that. Look at that. That's a cool thing. That's very, very cool. We can sell all vehicles, call all vehicles home. Building transparent. Oh, very, very nice indeed. Uh, okay. So with that done, with that done... Presumably, we should be okay for winter. I don't know if this is going to increase. I don't know if the demand is going to increase uh, over winter. Presumably, this stat maybe is linked to temperature. I.e., if temperature goes down, then the drain will increase or something. I, I, I don't actually know. Either way, it looks like the heat exchanger that is set up in the center of town is, uh, is just fine. We got a little bit more concrete that's going to arrive. Fine. Also, this looks really good, doesn't it? This looks really... Quite Soviet, I think. Yeah, I think this looks. I think this looks not too bad. Yeah, pretty darn, uh, pretty darn chuffed with that actually. That ain't that ain't too shabby. Not enough accountants and officers uh, to show stats. Oh, this is for the town, isn't it? Yeah, this is for the town. Okay. Uh, well, what else? What else do we need to do? It's a good. It's a good thing that you ask. Now that we've got this up and running, is there something that we want to do with coal? Is there something that we want to do with coal? I'm just thinking, right? Like, if we if we did coal, if we did coal and we did coal like easily, there is iron over in uh, over in Dem Hills over there. Is it worth us? 
Is it worth us investing in iron? Probably not. Even oil at this stage in the game. Oh, there's an oil. There's an oil deposit right there. There's also an oil deposit right here. Oil deposit right here, which is very, very juicy and very, very interested in that. Also an oil deposit right under Turistovsky. Um, probably not gonna... Probably not gonna use that one, at least for, for the short term. I tell you what, we could go... We could go through the motions. We could go through the motions of building a freaking runway. I've said it. I've said it and I now realize this was a great idea. I have all of the things that I need, right? I have all of the things that I need. I have everything that I need. I have everything that I need to... I have everything that I need to do... I have everything that I need a runway for. With the exception of a purpose for that runway. Actually, tell a complete lie. I have a purpose for a runway. The purpose for the runway... The purpose for the runway is is a freaking tourist mission. We can fly we can fly tourists into Turistovsky with a brand new runway. Oh boy, that's 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 good. That's that's good. That's juicy. Okay, let's do let's do this. I think we're going to do a nice long runway, a 1000 meter long runway. Right? A 1000 meter long runway. We'll give that a shot. This is not going to be completed for a long time. This is going to be this series' is, uh, this is going to be this series' is train tunnel, you know? We're going to be building, we're going to be building a thousand meter long runway for about 15 episodes. Uh, and all of the corresponding infrastructure. Because there is no way that I'm, there's no way that I'm cheating on this one. There's no way that I'm cheating on this one. Uh, let's get a terminal building over here. Uh, sure. Yeah, something like that. That's a little bit, a little bit better. We'll get some airline parking. We'll get the finest of the finest. In fact, I don't want this terminal building to be all the way out in the middle of nowhere, do I? No, I kind of don't. I kind of don't. So maybe I just trash this road and then... And then build it. Kind of feel like that's not a bad idea. Alright. Plan B. Trash the road. If in doubt, trash the road. Uh, control tower? Not quite yet. Not quite yet. All right. So this is to let the tourists. This is to let the tourists go. We will get some various. We'll get some various airplane parking. Sure. Throw down two of those, and then we'll throw down a couple of big seventy-five meter airplane parking slots. To be honest, I, I very much doubt actually that we're going to need more than one. Throw down a 50 meter as well. There we go. Okay. This is going to be Turistovsky International Airport. How exciting is that? <laughs> how is how exciting is that? Okay. So that's two 20 meters. Oh, sorry. It's two 30 meters, a 40 meter, a 50 meter, and a 75 meter. And then airplane parking. Let's get airplane parking over here as well. Okay. Then taxiway. We'll get some, we'll get some good, solid Soviet taxiway to run right through the middle here. Excellent. Uh, that could prove problematic. That will crash the game if I do that, so I'm not going to do that. There we go. Okay, that's, that's allowed. Excellent, that's also allowed. And that's allowed too. Easy. We did it. Uh, then that can go in there like so. Cool. And then we need to get an airport road connection. It makes it makes perfect sense that the airport road connection would be over here. Beautiful. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. We don't even require. We don't even require anything with the exception of, of gravel and asphalt to do all of this stuff. How, how great is that? How great is that? Uh, then we can go straight through here. Mind the road. The road is going to get destroyed. And then we'll go right up to the runway. Start all constructions. Yes, please. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, even the airport terminal doesn't really require that much of anything. We do need a little bit of steel. We need a little bit of... 
Need a little bit of everything, but uh, but that's fine. We'll get there. We'll get there. Don't you don't you worry about it. Uh, also, I'm thinking. I'm thinking. You know what? I'm just realizing right at this very moment in time that we do have the opportunity to to get rails, a long train depot. Oh yeah, that's new as well. I say that's new. It's not new, but it's uh, it's new to me. I'm thinking maybe we see if we can try and stick a train platform somewhere around here, and then we just train workers into. To Rostovsky, because I haven't really allocated much, well, space, time, or attention to thinking about how we're gonna staff all of these services over here. Yeah, maybe we have like a CD, a dark CD station, right? A dark CD station over here, which is is the the ingress point. For, for all of the workers. So we'll do that. Okay, nice. Again, not building any of this. I like, uh, you know, I wanna, I wanna give the video game an opportunity to, to show itself, to show itself uh, what it can do. And then, you know what? We're gonna get one big long train over here. And we're gonna see if we can try and connect that up to Turistovsky. Let me, let me, let me redraw that a little bit. Nice. Okay, this is going to be a horrific bridge. Please close your eyes if you, if you like to see good-looking bridges. You're about to see. Oh boy. Oh yeah, that's a. Uh, that's filthy. That's filth. That's not even. That's not even. That's not even good. <laughs> it's so bad. I, I. It's so bad that I actually kind of want to leave it. <laughs> like. <laughs> I. I could shorten the bridge by like half if I just. <laughs> if I just did that, but. You know what? I feel like part of part of the appeal of this area has got to be has got to be grandiose structures, right? So even throughout Tourist Grad, we're gonna have we're gonna have as many portraits of Landon as we possibly can. We're gonna have crazy big bridges. We're gonna have crazy airports. In fact, you know what? This might not even this might not even be the only the only airport that we have in this area. Sincerely, we we very well could consider getting could consider getting more. Uh, that would not be that would not be crazy in in my eyes. I'm I'm very very pro this idea. Again, you know it's it's all about it's all about the spectacle. It's all about the spectacle, right? How's how's this for a location for a train station? Not bad. Feel like we could probably do a little bit better. Feel like we could probably do a little bit better. This is maybe a little bit better here. Yeah, the reason that I feel this is better is that we can sort of build the city out this way. Well, I suppose we can also build the city out this way, around around the station. Again, when it comes time to when it comes time to properly start thinking about these things. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna commit another little bit of another little bit of, uh, of eye crime right now. That's that is ugly. That I mean, come on, potato, you can do better than that, right? Probably not. I just want to make it look a little bit better, you know. It'll path automatically. That's the wrong type of track. It'll path automatically. Is that is that what I kind of am after? Yeah, I guess so. I, I guess it's a little bit... I don't know. It looks a little bit stale, but... There there we go. That is that is what it is. Uh, right. I mean, do we want to try and build our own track? I mean, this always turns into a freaking disaster, doesn't it? It always turns into a freaking disaster. But you know what? Let's give it a shot. Let's give it a shot. <laughs> Uh, okay, so construction, construction-related industry, rail construction office. Uh, you know, sure, sure. Let's 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 try this. Let's try this. So again, we'll let the video game take this one. Good luck. Good luck to the video game. Uh, do I want to connect up my gravel? No, there's not really any way to cater for the gravel. I could do something like this over here, actually. Yeah, tell you what, I tell you what. Let's do let's do this. Okay, this is like the, this is the jankiest, most glorious. I feel like most Soviet solution to to something like this. Uh, so we're gonna stick that down. Excellent, good stuff. We're gonna we're gonna get this around to there. This road is not the important part. The important part is the pathway, which. Is gonna have to maybe, hopefully, crawl under this this conveyor belt over here. Oh, it fits! It fits! It fits! It fits! It fits! 
Excellent. Look at that. Okay. All right. That's good. That's good. So then, into roads. Start construction of that. So once the construction of this road is finished, we're going to start work on the rail office. So that's going to take about 20 years. After we're done with the road, we can start on the rail construction office, which is going to take another 20 years. And then, after that, we're going to build, we're going to build a, a wooden... That's right, a wooden railway. Hold on, I should have planned this a little bit better. Uh, we're going to build a wooden railway to uh, hopefully connect up to the main infrastructure over here, which then means that we're going to be able to build the track in both directions. If this isn't the most obscene construction that you have ever seen, uh, please direct me to the most obscene construction that you've ever seen. And uh, it's it's cheating if you use any of my previous Workers and Resources Soviet Republic videos. Or any of my other videos, for that matter. Uh, this is obscene. This this plan is just, it's just crazy. Uh, we can just auto-import resources into the Rail Construction Office once, once it's built. Famous last words, of course. Once it's built. Uh, no workers. Uh, no workers. Or, and we, uh, we also cannot store anything. That's fine. Do we have... I mean, I know we have a fire station. I know we have a fire station. Somewhere. In town. It, it covers... Okay, it covers... Covers our construction area. It doesn't cover anything that we're building in Turistovsky. I mean, that's okay. That's kind of to be expected, to be honest with you. It's kind of to be expected. Kind of to be expected. What's the sort of time frame for seeing this... For seeing this get completed? Do you not think that maybe somebody could have coordinated perhaps the loading of this excavator onto the Maz truck? Which is now holding up all of the traffic. It's just... The short-sightedness of this... Of this crew here is... Awful. Off to the gulag with all of you. Oh, there we go. You're overtaking. Brilliant. Okay. Don't know why you couldn't have overtaken on, I don't know, the previous mile-long stretch over there, but there you go, I guess. You did it, finally. So that's good news. All right. Working away on that. Bulldozer. Bulldozer is bulldozing. Great. The airport road connection. That's going to be even better when that's up and running. How's our beach going, by the way? How's our beach? Our beach is, um... I mean, it's coming. It's coming. We got 157 work days remaining. And I very, very much doubt that we can actually supply the workers without them despawning. Uh, but apart from that, it's fine. It's fine, I guess. It's fine. Where are you taking the workers to? Oh, that's just to the bus stop over there. Yeah, you're trying to get to the beach. You're trying to get to the beach. I, I also am trying to get to the beach in a spiritual sense. Um, and by spiritual sense, I mean I'm literally trying to get to the beach. You're delivering people to the road. I mean, we need a we need a more direct road connection, to be honest, as well, to the town. Maybe one to follow this incredible bridge. You know what? Let's let's zone this. Let's zone this. Let's zone this. Let's let's zone a beam bridge. It's just so atrocious. It's just so atrocious. It's just concrete. It's just gravel. But it would make a difference. It would make a difference. It's actually quite cheap. It's actually yeah, it's actually quite it's actually quite cheap. It's actually quite cheap for us to do. Okay. Cannot end above water. Fine. Yes, yeah, so I mean that's that's seventy thousand rubles. But more importantly, it's loads of concrete, a tiny little bit of gravel. And then a whole bunch of asphalt, which is all completely fine. Then maybe let's get some... Let's get some top-of-the-line road over here. And then let's get some top-of-the-line road over here as well. And maybe that way we're going to be able to supply a whole bunch of... Uh, a whole bunch of buses of workers. 
It's an ambitious goal. It's an ambitious goal. It's also an ambitious goal to have the video game building all of the... All of the things. But I think I'm kind of okay with it, to be honest with you. I think I'm actually kind of okay with it. Do we need anything else? Do we need anything else? The thing that really strikes me is that we need workers. We need workers, and there is a high probability that we also need more concrete as well. Or more concrete trucks, I should say. Definitely the Mazes. Having the Mazes helps out a lot. Like, they take so much. They take so much gravel. They take so much gravel. See, now this path just requires 11 work days. That's basically nothing. That's basically nothing at all. Maybe a couple of additional Maz trucks. Maybe a couple of additional Maz trucks. Almost certainly, though, we should just get some more concrete trucks. What about Western? Western trucks. Ah, nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. I maybe should get a... Uh, should get a concrete mixer mod. Right. Spend more... Spend more rubles. Spend more rubles. How far does this reach? Reaches all the way that we really care about. Yeah. How far does it reach over here? Yeah, fine. I mean, I think that, I think this literally covers the entirety of the city, to be honest. Maybe with the exception of this area, although I'm pretty sure that this area will get built as soon as... Uh, as soon as we fix that all up. That's fine. Okay, so that's a lot of additional concrete trucks. It's probably gonna be... probably gonna be enough. We, we're starting to see a couple of Maz trucks that are just chilling out in the, in the depot here. Which means that we have fulfilled... we have fulfilled the goal. We have fulfilled the goal. Which is which is wonderful. Dry bulk storage. Cool. That's that's fine. Asphalt, we're okay with that. It's the Maz trucks counterintuitively. Yeah, which trans uh, which transport the asphalt there. That's fine. Okay, lots and lots of concrete. Lots and lots of concrete, lots and lots of progress. I can feel it. I can feel it happening, folks. It's not often that you get the opportunity to feel progress. And I feel like progress is inbound. Are we able to build... Oh, we're able to deliver. Okay, interesting. We're able to deliver gravel to the unfinished runway slash taxiway before we're even finished the airport connection. Again, the thing that we require is workers. The thing that we require is workers. National Uprising Museum. We're actually... Wow. Super ahead of schedule on that. I wasn't really anticipating starting work on any of the, the structures here. Uh, that one wasn't started. That one was, was started by, by me, accidentally. Please forgive me, comrade. I didn't mean to, I didn't mean to build it. Uh, yeah, so, start work on that road as well. I didn't think that we'd properly start work on any of these construction projects, but it absolutely looks like we, we are. Certainly the groundworks, the groundworks that just require a single, a single excavator, will probably get done. Yeah, they absolutely will probably get done. This is turning into a very, very busy thoroughfare. I I like this a lot. I like this a lot. Uh, do we need to supply heat to the asphalt plant? Or, or any other plant around this area, for that matter? We don't seem to need to. Don't think so. Presumably, it's only if it has, like, workers in it. And I guess none of these... None of these buildings technically count as having workers in. Maybe the concrete plant? No, we don't need it for the concrete plant. Okay, so we don't need to supply heating to this area, which is wonderful. We've already supplied heating to this area, which is wonderful. Seems to be operating just fine. Seems to be operating just fine. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's okay. I'm still not convinced that that's going to be enough, but, I mean, if it is, then it, I guess that it is, which is good. Um, we do still need, we do still need to get the, we do still need to get the heating infrastructure set up over here. A heating plant? No. A heat exchanger? Yes. That's, that's what we're after. Uh, we can stick this in the center of town. This is kind of prime real estate, but I suppose, I mean, if we're not going to stick a heat exchanger in here, then what the heck are we going to stick in here? You know? Is it not... Is it not uh, is it not a pride thing to show off our heat exchangers? I think we can be proud of our heat exchangers. Can I not go over the taxiway? I would really love to go over the taxiway here. I would really love to to bridge the taxiway. 
Like, that would be... Can I not have... Can I not have my aircraft? Oh, I would love to see the aircraft taxi under a heat pipe. That's pretty Soviet, too. Oh, that's a shame. That's a that's a crying shame, actually. That's, uh... That's very disappointing. Oh, look at that taxiway. It's happening. Okay. Let's do the old, uh, the old trick where you, you build up as high as you possibly can. So as to avoid impacting stuff below. Again, we can't go around the taxiway. We're gonna have to do this little, this little funky dance. Uh, we could probably, we could probably just about run parallel with the tracks, I guess. Where do we need to connect up? We do have, we do have a splitter over here. Although I probably want to get a brand new pipe, don't I? Because this heat exchanger is going to be taking 188. Yeah, I probably want to get a brand new pipe. So that takes 300. We should have plenty. We should have plenty. My 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 back of the back of the napkin calculations have determined that we probably are producing enough heat. <laughs> okay, buildings are in the way. Buildings can be demolished. Okay. You know what would be really, really nice, Potato? Perhaps if instead of making uh, an absolutely abysmal looking heat pipe setup, you instead built a multi-layered heat pipe setup. See, that's quite cool, right? We're getting rid of the... We're getting rid of the, uh, the support beams artificially. Kind of. Uh, right. Let's connect this up over here. Uh, we'll do that over there. That over there. And then let's head across the water, I think. Unless... Unless we want to do... Actually, you know what? We'll, we'll split the, uh, we'll split the heat pipes off over here, I think. Again, I think, I think this is the right thing to do. Again, because we don't want to run into capacity issues later down the line. Again, this is kind of future-proofing, right? Like, if this is a 300... If, three, if this is a 300 meter cubed uh, per second affair, per second setup, uh, pumping setup, that is, then we don't necessarily need to use all of our pumping setup or our pumping capability at the moment. But as long as we have that additional... As long as we have that additional, uh, that additional capability later down the roads... We should be, we should be just fine. Okay, uh, let's, let's ascend. Let's ascend. And then let's cross the river. Let's not cross the river. Let's go over here. And then let's see how long we can make it. No. Don't even. Don't even. Don't even. Don't even at me. Okay. Right in there. And then... You know what? Let's have the heat pipe running right next to the railway. I feel like this is very Soviet. You know, part of the appeal of this series is, is making things look as Soviet as possible. Okay. So we gotta... This is a very, very careful operation here, comrade. Very, very careful operation. Needs to look perfect. It needs to look perfect lest we besmirch our reputation. Okay, is that level? That looks pretty good, to be honest. That looks pretty good. That looks really good. That looks really, really good. Okay, and then we can have like a massive... Yeah, okay, that's too long. Uh, I will say that it does look absolutely ridiculous to have a heat pipe set up that looks that is so uh, that is so ascended. It is absolutely ridiculous. It is very very silly. But you know what I say to that? I don't care. I don't care if it looks silly. Really, that's too long. Seriously, that's too long. That's allowed, and that's too long. Okay, excellent. We are, like, within millimeters here. Hill causing obstruction. And that's too long. Really, 
really, really, really. Okay. Uh, I doubt it. I doubt it. I doubt it. I doubt it. I doubt it, but okay. All right. Heat pumping station. We'll move it, like, a couple of meters closer. That's interference from the, the filthy capitalists. All right. There we go. So that's so that's looking that's looking pretty incredible to be honest. I mean, it's probably my finest. That's probably my finest work, and I've and I've made some pretty fine work. Uh, okay, that goes over there. Let's bring let's bring some of the finest. Let's bring some of the finest road out this way, and let's uh, let's get that planned in as well. Oh yeah, this is looking this is looking good. This is looking good. Again, worker worker delivery. Worker delivery is probably going to be the problem. Worker delivery is probably going to be the problem. Everything else we're we're pretty much okay for, actually. Yeah, worker worker delivery is is proving to be is proving to be a big old issue. We're already starting to see a bunch of people without any education uh, start to start to pop up. Don't exactly love that. Don't exactly love that at all. Boards. We don't have enough boards. Why are we not moving boards? Why are we not moving boards? Uh, can you instead move to here? I think this is- I think this is borked. I think this is borked. Somehow. Yeah, okay, hold on. Sell this vehicle. This whole time? Yeah, this whole time. Oh, dude, that's such a shame. All right. Well, that that sucks. That sucks pretty darn hard. Um. Yep. Okay. Well, you know, look. It's just. It's a reminder that we should probably have backups for these situations. I should probably have these mass trucks working on the, uh, on this sort of stuff as well. Uh. Yeah. That that's that's really irritating. That's really really irritating. All right. We'll buy a couple of additional buses. I think over here two. Five buses, I think that is. Yep. And we will set the... We'll set the station over here as the pickup points. And hopefully that's enough. Okay. We've spent a decent chunk of change. A decent chunk of cheddar. There's, uh, there's cheddar at stake. The stakes are high. How's the beach coming along? Oh, brilliant. The beach is almost done. It's the finest beach in all of the, the, Soviet, the Soviet state. Oh, glorious! We've had to make we've had to make it on the the banks of a river, which is almost certainly contaminated with something. In fact, probably contaminated with many things, actually. But that's part of the appeal, comrade. Only only in Potatoes Soviet Republic can you get access to some of the uh, the the mineral skin enriching uh, minerals that uh, you. You you get to you get to access on this exclusive uh, exclusive Soviet beach. Um, cast your eyes downstream to this wonderful wooden antique bridge that is consistently moving traffic much more above the legal transportation limits. That's right. Will the bridge collapse? I don't know. Only people who, only people who attend the beach will find out. Um, yeah, maybe we could pitch it something like that. I don't know. Maybe. I hope so. Uh, I think that there is, I think that there's perhaps a market for that sort of stuff. I mean, like, you know, going to North Korea, that's kind of an insane thing to do. Going to a, a, a contaminated beach, kind of less insane, right? You know? I think there's there's probably a good market for this. I think I think those those filthy capitalists will be will be willing to will be willing to visit in spades. So it's really good. Uh yeah, can we maybe get a couple of additional workers at the city town hall thing cuz I would like to know exactly how many how many people. In fact, you know what? I, I tell you what, I can just have a little look at uh at the entirety of the population statistics. So, education, basic education. This year, we've only gone for a year, right? So, basic education is consistent. It's too difficult to, to see when you're looking at a, on a countrywide scale. 
Uh, the problem is this, yeah, so people with no education is uh, is rising substantially. It's rising substantially. Uh, students in classrooms, we're fine for that. Uh, kindergarten, kindergarten is very, very much over overburdened at this moment in time. I wonder if perhaps there is a way to get a couple of additional kindergartens. Or maybe even just one additional kindergarten, maybe out here somewhere. Uh, I should probably build it over here if I do want to expand the town out that way. Out this way. Let's do that. Let's... Let's do that. Education. Hey, uh, you know what? The stupidity of my population is... It's fine. It's within... It's within acceptable parameters. It's within acceptable parameters. I'll... I'll just allow this kindergarten to be built... You know, in time. I mean, you know, we, we don't need rocket scientists. We just need people to, you know, to stand in gift shops and, and sell trinkets. That's <laughs> that's what we need. That's what we need. That's what we need. And yet we're building a medical university. That's right. We need doctors and we need people to stand in gift shops and sell trinkets. That's all that we need. That's literally all that we need. And you know what, folks? I, we're going to have to see what the heck happens in between episodes. Because I'm going to let the game run for a little bit. <gasps> the beach! The beach, the beach, the beach is done! Oh my goodness, it's so luxurious. It's so luxurious. Oh, look at that! Look at that! There's a little... A little inflatable... A little inflatable thingamabobber. It's probably fake. But that's okay. Um... Look at the beach. Look at the beach. I like we've got some nice sand textures and then just one big stretched sand texture at the bottom here. Uh, but there we go. Anyway, as I was saying, I'm probably going to let the game run for a little bit between uh, between episodes. We're going to see we're going to see how much construction actually happens. It looks like there's there's a lot of activity. There's a lot of activity over here. I mean, look at look at this. Look at this. The pyramid museum is half built. Goodness gracious me, that's that's obscene. Uh, we've also spent five hundred thousand dollars on uh, on importing materials. That's kind of crazy. Anyway, this this outro has rambled for for quite long enough. Uh, ladies and gents, thank you ever so much for watching this episode of Works and Resources Soviet Republic. My name, of course, has been Obed Potato. I hope you've enjoyed, comrade. I hope you'll tune in next time. Thank you as ever to the fantastic support over on the Patreon page, patreon.com forward slash Robert Potato. Thanks to Banana Nana C Senpai and Aurelio for being the three twenty-five dollar plus tier patrons. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.